good enough at ultrasound. That's not an excuse to punish your patients with radiation. Get out there, ultrasound some hearts, some lungs, some IVCs. Let us know how you feel about it. Yeah, we can definitely do that. Or we could be better clinicians and use our ultrasound. Um, I've been getting all of these questions over like mm -hmm. the last, I don't know, year or so uh, about handheld point of care ultrasounds. I mean, people are people are crazy for these things. Like that's mm -hmm. literally got to be like the most common question that I get asked yeah. is like, you know, what's my experience with Lumify or where the butterfly that just recently came out? Um, mm -hmm. Should they get one? Um, and, you know, I think for good reason, these things are pretty awesome, right? I mean, yeah. you know, they are taking an ultrasound from being this thing that you have to, um, they have to push around the emergency mm -hmm. department to something you can literally keep in your pocket and take with yeah. you, like either on rounds on the wards or, you know, running from room to room in the emergency department or even take on like, you know, mission trips internationally, mm -hmm. I, I think yeah. is a huge thing for people. A lot of people get a lot of interest from that. Um, so I thought it might be cool to kind of talk about them a little bit. Um, Let's so there's, there's quite a few out, but when I say handheld ultrasound machine, what, what do you think of? I think of the Lumify, honestly, because that's the one that's, I think, kind of been the standard over the past few years. Yeah. Is there another one that maybe you think about, too? Maybe the Butterfly, because it's uh, got a lot of, like, a lot of buzz lately. I mean, there's a lot of buzz. Like, everyone's asking about this Butterfly doohickey. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And um, they are both, I, I got to say, they're both awesome. Like, I've used both of them. Have you, have you had a chance to play around with both of them? So I've, uh, I have a couple of Lumifies uh, where I work um, and I love the Lumify. We use it a lot with medical student education because it's like so portable and has good images. The, sorry, the butterfly, I've seen it at conferences, but I haven't actually used it clinically or used it uh, really at all other than watching somebody else scan with it. Um, do you have one of these, one of these bad boys? I have, I have both. Yeah, I have both. Whoa. And Jacob, before we get too far into this, I, you know, I, I want to say that neither one of us um, take any any money from either one of these companies. We have no conflicts of right. interest. Granted, they are both available through Ultrasound Leadership Academy, with which you and I it's are pretty sweet. part of. We're both directors yeah. of. Um, but we, we pay uh, we pay for those for the fellows. They're not giving right. them to us or giving them to Ultrasound Leadership Academy. So this is a, a non-biased review of the Lumify and the Butterfly. Um, sure. uh, with the exception of ULA, we've got no uh, we've got no conflicts of interest regarding these two devices. Yeah, and we offer both of them, so it's not like we're trying to push one over the other. Right. Yeah. So as as unbiased as we can be with yeah, our subjective right. assessment of the Lumify and the Butterfly. Right. So the, the Lumify has been out for, I don't know what, like two or three years, something At like least, that. It's yeah. been out for, for a little amount of time. The Lumify connects to Android devices. So mm -hmm. in this picture here, we've got it connected to uh, like a Samsung S8 or something like that, mm -hmm. or S7 maybe. Um, and it, only Android devices. And it comes with uh, with different probes, or you, you mm -hmm. have to actually like get different probes. So the, the probe here is the, this is the, the cardiac the probe that's hooked yeah. up to the to the Samsung phone. But they also make a linear probe and they make a curved probe. So mm -hmm. theoretically, if you wanted like a full ultrasound machine you would be walking around with with three different probes and you'd be right. disconnecting probes and reconnecting probes based on what kind of exam you're doing right and and paying um, for three different probes yeah paying for the different probes yeah they do i i think they do generally a, like a subscription model so you pay like on an annual basis for for the probe and then you mm -hmm. supply your own android device and it works also with a tablet which is kind of cool so yeah. you can you can pull up like a, a fairly large image with the tablet or even uh shoot the image via uh, google chromecast to like a large tv or something like that which is which is pretty sweet as well um they they use the battery of the phone as opposed to having a battery inside of them um, yeah, yeah. So you, you don't Which is kind of a big them. deal, right? I mean, that, that's why that's why they use Android, right? Because Android, you can you can take power from an Android device, but you can't take power from an Apple device. Is is what that, I that am is under the impression of. That is exactly true. Yeah. So that little mini USB connector that connects to an Android device can actually mm -hmm. send enough power to it to run the ultrasound device. Um, yeah. Whereas uh, the the little like what is the name of that Apple thing? The proprietary Apple connector. I can't remember. Uh, I think it's a Lightning. Um, Lightning, whatever it is, yeah. The thing that they that is not USB C that should be USB C. <laughs> that yeah. that thing does not send power to devices. So 
so that's yeah. one reason that that Philips has is my understanding at least that why they haven't come out with a with an uh, iPhone compatible device because right. they'd have to put a battery mm-hmm. inside of the probe itself. Um, yeah. And then all of the all of the like computer you know image interpretation stuff that's actually all inside of that little probe, which is why it looks a little bit bigger than your standard your standard cardiac probe. Although otherwise it's pretty close to the size of a standard cardiac probe, I'd say. Mm-hmm. Um, Wait, are we talking about the butterfly and, or the Lumify right now? We're talking about the Lumify still. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Lumify probes are, they feel like normal ultrasound probes in, in mm-hmm. my sort of experience, right? Like yeah, they're, they're yeah. the typical sort of size as an ultrasound probe. Right. The Butterfly, which just came out on the market and I think just like started shipping and I literally mm-hmm. just received mine like a little while ago, um, is uh, is an Apple device, only works on Apple, uh, has a battery inside of it. And it's a little bit different than the Lumify in that the ultrasound probe itself uses um, uh, basically like microchips um, to create the the ultrasound wave and to listen to the ultrasound wave rather than mm-hmm. crystals. So hmm. because of that, they can they manage to sort of fit multiple probes into one probe. So that probe that you see on the screen is their linear probe. That is their cardiac probe. That is their abdominal probe. You don't switch. That's probes awesome. when you're when you're using that it's a single thing it is larger than mm-hmm. than a standard ultrasound probe it feels a bit bigger it's a bit heavier it also has a, a battery in it so it's got a, a lithium-ion battery inside of it because so it's heavier like right we, yeah it is heavier because we mentioned you cannot connect the you know you cannot get power from the iphone and and connect and run it to the probe it has the power mm-hmm. has to come from the probe itself and same right, principle right. it does all of the image interpretation inside of the probe shoots that image over to your to your iphone um or your apple device and you mm-hmm. and you can look at the image on your apple device nice. so um that's sort of like the the uh the skinny on the Lumify and the Butterfly, there's other there's other handheld devices out there that I've chosen not to talk about uh, during mm-hmm. this this lecture, just because I think they're suboptimal. And if you're going to be sure. if you're going to be making a choice to to purchase a, a portable ultrasound device, I think these it's going to be one of these two. Would one you of agree these with two. that? Yeah. No, I, I agree 100. percent I mean, the other ones definitely have their their pros and cons, but compared to the Lumify, the Lumify really has been the industry standard. Um, for yep. handheld devices. And now the butterfly is the new thing that seems on paper that's actually pretty awesome. So I'm excited to, to hear your experience with it. So one thing is it seems like, you know, you have this Lumify with the three different probes, you have the butterfly, which is just one probe. What about the price difference? So the convenience factor seems to be in favor of the butterfly, right? Cause it's just one probe. That's all three things. What about the price? How does the price differ between the two devices? Well, I don't know exactly the numbers. I, I know that the the butterfly is somewhere around two thousand dollars to purchase the device, mm-hmm. um, and then you have to pay like a, a yearly subscription um, to okay. to use it, which is I think around like two hundred bucks or something like that. The mm-hmm. Lumify is uh, somewhere around two thousand dollars per probe per year. So. I mean, I think, you know, assuming that you keep it for a few years, the Lumify is anywhere from like three, assuming you want all three probes, is anywhere from like mm-hmm. three to six to nine times more expensive than the Butterfly. Wow. Um, okay. So it's it's substantially more expensive than the Butterfly. Yeah, um, got it. Which I think may show up in the images that we're about to show you. So what I did, Jacob, was I, um, I had both of these devices. Um, mm-hmm. I own both of them. So I just took them oh, dang. and I scanned myself and I, I basically like had both devices um, sitting there ready, put myself mm-hmm. in specific positions to, to scan different parts of my body and scanned, saved images, scanned, saved images. And I basically mm-hmm. tried to optimize the images for both devices as best I can. So, okay. you know, this is Let's just take a look. sort of like my own personal experience. Like, you know, obviously, like I said, I'm not getting paid any, any, by either of these guys. So I have no motivation to make one of them look better than the other. Um, and I've got, I've talked to both of them. I like both of them as in terms of companies. Like I don't have, mm-hmm. I don't play favorites. So let's All just right. look at those. So this is my heart. Um, okay. this would be an apical four chamber window. I worked mm-hmm. really hard to, um, try to make the image look as consistent between the two. Yeah. Um, I see that. in terms of like optimizing the image with gain and, um, and getting like the left ventricle at the top of the screen and, and mm-hmm. all that stuff. So this is sort of in the left lateral, lateral decubitus position, um, scanning with the one probe, saving the image, scanning with the other probe. Um, so what do you think? Man, I'm not seeing a big difference. Um, 
The Lumify, it seems like there's a couple, there's probably more shades of gray with the Lumify, so you might be able to tell some like finer stuff. The Butterfly seems to be more, a lot more, less shades of gray than the Lumify, um, but mm -hmm. pretty similar. I mean, I, they're, they're essentially identical images. Yep. I get slightly more reverberation at the top of the um, near field um, with mm -hmm. the Lumify, but oh, yeah, I, I, I would say I get better in general. I would agree with you. There's a better um, grayscale, mm -hmm. and I get more endocardial border. Okay. Um, yeah. Yeah. Agreed. You agree with that? Like I can mm -hmm. see that sort of that, for example, that like um, the left ventricle, um, the, the lateral wall there up towards the apex, I can yeah. actually see that endocardial border a little bit, and I kind of lose that on the butterfly which you know right, granted right. you might be able to pull out if you if you played around with the settings a bunch this was fairly yeah. like you know fairly quick imaging i didn't mm -hmm. i didn't do much other than just adjust the gain um but i would say i agree with you pretty similar not not too different let's uh let's see what we got next okay so this is a this is a fast so okay I, um I've, I've got it set to set to fast i'm using mm -hmm. i for consistency i use the the phased array probe on the Lumify, yeah, sure. um, as opposed to using the the curved probe, mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. and also because I don't own a curved probe <laughs> okay. for the Lumify, I've got a, I've got yeah. a phased and a linear, um, yeah. so that's what I had. Uh, so what do you, what do you think uh, in terms of image quality? This is a Morrison's pouch window, obviously. I think I mean the same thing as with that cardiac view. The Lumify, I'm getting a lot more shades of gray um, with the butterfly. Um, I'm seeing the same image basically. And I don't think like if you had a small sliver of fluid, I'm not sure that the Lumify, you know, would bring me, you know, be like 20% better. Um, I think that'd probably be like 5% better maybe. I'm um, just judging off of mm -hmm. what I'm seeing right here, but they're, they're pretty close. They're pretty similar. I bet you, if you did like an inner rate or reliability of the two, it probably would be really good. Yeah, one one thing I would say is that you have a, a wider field of view with the Lumify. Okay, yeah, that's a good that. point. Yeah, um, yeah, that's a good that point. You, I can see I can see the diaphragm um, and the mirror image artifact above the diaphragm a bit better. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. and I can see all of Morrison's pouch as opposed to the, the butterfly. I can only see part of it. So there might be a little bit more um, redirecting the butterfly in order to mm -hmm. see all of the structures that you need to see. But sure. I, I would agree with you that the image quality is not substantially different. Mm -hmm. All right, so this is just a still of, okay. um, of my carotid and um, and part of the IVC. Um, so this is starting to compare the the linear um, between mm -hmm. the Lumify and the butterfly. So this is just basically yeah. I've disconnected the the, the phased ray probe on Lumify, connect up the li the linear, and then on mm -hmm. the butterfly I just push the button to change over to the to the linear probe, and I took a quick yeah. look at my my carotid. Um, I mean, on the, on the stills, again, they look pretty similar, but I, especially, I think, especially for the linear transducer, I'd really want to see how well it does in a clip because the frame rate is super important when you're doing procedures, right? I mean, you want to have like a really high frame rate with procedures to be able to see like, does, does it, is it going to track your needle well, basically? Gotcha. So this is looking at my inner scaling. Uh, mm -hmm. with the Lumify and the Butterfly. And this is a clip, just kind of moving around a little bit. So um, here we've got the anterior scaling muscle. Yeah. This is the middle scaling right here. Again, the anterior scaling muscle here, the middle scaling muscle here. So this traffic light mm -hmm. right there, that is your, uh, that's your brachial plexus, right? Yeah. And then yeah, yeah, right here is the same brachial plexus. You see that? This is on the same side. This is in the same positioning. Um, uh, with what appeared on the screen to be optimized imaging as best as it could be. Although looking on at the comparison here, it, it does appear that the butterfly is a little bit brighter. Yeah, um, man, I think for this one, I'm gonna have to side more with the Lumify um, mm -hmm. because when you're right, the butterfly, it's kind of, everything's kind of hazy, right? I mean, it's good. It's it's better than not having something. But if I had to pick between the Lumify and the butterfly, in this case, I'd definitely pick the, the Lumify um, because there's a lot more definition, there's a lot more difference between um, the, the fascia, the blood vessels, the, the muscle. And that's really important when you're doing such a delicate procedure as an interscaling block, right? On that butterfly, the way that everything's kind of bright and everything's kind of looks a little more washed out, I feel, I mean, I, granted, I haven't done you know, any kind of nerve blocks with a butterfly, but I feel like it would be harder for me to track the needle um, accurately with a butterfly compared to the Lumify. Next up, um, in no particular order, this is looking at my IVC, mm -hmm. which is uh, massive. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 
it's, it's well it's hydrated, hydrated, hydrated on the, that, on the that state. hypertrophic cardiomyopathy. Yeah, and it's I a, got a I got a pericardial effusion. What is up with that, man? Do you see this? Yeah, you know you're supposed to have a small bit of, flu- of like fluid around there, right? It's it's, it's yeah, normal. You're I think probably like the, not the bigger dying. the effusion, the bigger the effusion, the better the the, the better it is. The ejection fraction. I don't know. Yeah, but, yeah, yeah agreed. Yeah, so the um, same thing with the uh, the renal one. I think. I mean, it's it's close enough. The Lumify. If I had to pick, like, which one would you rather use clinically? I'd much rather use the Lumify. But the Butterfly, it, it looks pretty good. Um, same thing that you mentioned that um, that uh, field of view is a little bit more narrow with the Butterfly, but. I think you could easily get around that by just moving your probe, honestly. I don't think it's that I mean, big so, of a difference in some ways, to say. There's, in some ways, there's better contrast in the butterfly. Like, you can see that pericardial effusion better here than you can yeah. with the Lumify, right? Yeah. That it's kind of, the, it's sort of grayed out on the Lumify. Although, mm-hmm. you can see a little bit more detail in the IVC. Like, you can see some of that spontaneous echo contrast in my yeah. IVC on the Lumify that you can't right. pick up on the butterfly. So, yeah. again, higher contrast with the butterfly um, than with the Lumify. More grays with the Lumify. Um, so, uh, yeah, I mean, but kind of sixes in terms of which one's better, I think. Yeah. And then I think this is the last one here. So this is starting to look at some MSK stuff. So now Dude, is, this, comparing... is this your tour rotator cuff? Hey, watch it. No, I, no, I, I'm assuming that's not going to smack... be on the podcast, but I'm curious. Don't is this, be talking. Is this here? No, it is going to be on the podcast. I'm talking <laughs> smack about my rotator cuff. But, but you do have my, a tour my rotator, rotator cuff, cuff, right? My, my rotator cuff will, pu- will punch you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is this is my toward rotator cuff. That's the tear right there, actually. They Sorry, man. Ask. Yeah, yeah, thanks, bro. Um, it's it's not completely torn. Uh, we're, yeah, we're, partial. We're, take, we're taking care of it. It's uh, yeah. hopefully healing up. Uh, so this is just comparing some MSK between the, mm-hmm. the Lumify and the Butterfly, kind of getting a sense of what that uh, near field looks like um, with uh, soft tissue uh, mm-hmm. with the, the, the linear probe on both the Lumify and the Butterfly. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'm, I feel like I'm seeing a lot. I mean, I'm seeing what looks like a lot more resolution with the Lumify compared to the butterfly. I can see a lot more different shades and it might be like, honestly, it's kind of difficult for me on that view in the butterfly to see and uh, like, I'm like, oh, that's definitely abnormal. But with the Lumify, it's pretty easy. I'm like, oh, there's a black thing right there. You know what I mean? Yeah. Mm-hmm. No, I totally agree with you. I think the Lumify uh, probably wins out on the MSK stuff, as far as I yeah. can tell. And hard to hard to disagree with the, that or the interscaling, um, right? Right. For the most part. So, um, so let let's bring it on home for everybody. So, sure. What are your thoughts, Jacob, um, with those images that I showed you, those comparisons regarding the Lumify and the butterfly? So here are my thoughts. So, I think that if you have a hospital that's willing to buy you a machine. Um, I think that right now the best consistent image quality is going to be the Lumify. The problem is that the Lumify is more expensive. So if you're having to buy this stuff out of pocket and you don't want to juggle around two to three probes, the Butterfly probably is a better fit for you. But understand that the image quality with the Butterfly isn't as good as a whole as the Lumify. It gets really close to the Lumify, but it's not quite as good. So for me and where I work, I already have Lumify's. I really don't have a whole lot of need for the butterfly because I already have a Lumify, which I think overall has a better image. If I had nothing and my hospital didn't like ultrasound machines and I had to buy everything on my own, I'd probably go with the butterfly due to convenience and due to cost, even though the image quality isn't quite as good. I think that's a good summary. I I guess the only thing I would add is I think I think what phone you have matters. Um, you know, realistically, yeah. I don't want to carry around another device with, mm-hmm. with these machines. So if I'm an Android user, I'm, I'm more likely to buy a Lumify. And if I'm an iPhone user, I'm more likely to buy a Butterfly, right? Okay. I think that makes yeah. sense. I, I think I agree with you, though, that if... Um, you know, if money's not... Not an... Not, not a... It doesn't matter, right? If, yeah. if money is no... Not an issue. Is, is no issue, then the Lumify probably has better image quality. Um, yeah. I think also, if you're trying to replace your ultrasound machine like if you're trying to replace the machine in your department um, Mm -hmm. or you don't have a machine in your department or you're looking for something to take internationally and use as a as a sole machine i think Mm -hmm. it might make sense to stick with a butterfly or stick with the lumify Um, but if you're if you've got a machine in your department you just want something to throw in your pocket and have with you at all times um, the butterfly might make a lot of sense because it's just a single probe. You're not walking around yeah, through probes. You can realistically actually just put it in your pocket with your yeah. phone, and you yeah. know it's, you're not carrying around a bunch of cables and a bunch of different probes, and and it's it's very accessible. Um, so I think it's probably I think they are both awesome. Obviously, mm-hmm. 
and I think there's probably different, you know, use scenarios for for each one where people might prefer prefer one over the other. But I was just hoping to kind of like bring some shed some light because one of the biggest questions I've gotten is how good is the image quality on the butterfly? Yeah. Not just because it's so cheap uh, compared to all the other port uh, uh, portable machines out there, but also because it's using new technology, right? Like this is the first right. machine that we've seen that isn't using crystals. Um, yeah. Uh, to to obtain an ultrasound image, so right. hopefully this will be helpful for people. They can take a look and and it can help them make a uh, intelligent decision about what sort of machine they should purchase for themselves. I love it. Thanks, man. Sweet. Have you guys seen that new handheld ultrasound machine? Looks super cool. You mean the V scan? Wait, are you talking about the Lumify? No, guys. Stone is talking about the butterfly. Where have y'all been? Hold on. Is that Jacob? What are you doing here, dude? This is ULA, not the Ultrasound Podcast. Yeah, I mean, uh, taking my job at UK is not enough. Relax, Matt. Jacob's harmless. Look at that baby face. <laughs> uh, what were we talking about? I was talking about the Butterfly IQ and how it's about to change the world of Ultrasound. Oh, yeah, and did I mention we're going to start offering it to our ULA fellows? That's right. Now ULA fellows can have their choice of the Philips Lumify and the Butterfly IQ. The Butterfly works with the iPhone and is the perfect complement to the Lumify, which works with Android. Now we can offer something to fellows with both platforms. Yeah, true. But the really cool thing about the IQ isn't just that it's three probes in one or that it works with the iOS, but like Lumify, it offers some really cool educational tools. Similar to the React software that allows us to scan and FaceTime at the same time? Yeah, similar stuff, plus an image storage cloud that streamlines sharing images between the fellows and professors. I think it's going to work really nicely with the remote education we're doing with ULA. We just ordered our first shipment, so we're going to go live with this as of, uh, let's see, now. Yeah, those look pretty sweet. I definitely want to try one. Uh, no, why was Jacob here again? Oh, yeah, uh, about that. Dawson, listen, um, Stone and I need a little help, and you've been uh, kind of tied up with owning a castle and all, so we thought we'd bring in someone who could help us revamp the ULA curriculum. Yeah, and nobody better than Jacob. You've seen his stuff on the Ultrasound Podcast, right? He's a pretty good educator. No, I think this is a great idea. I mean, I guess the curriculum is like from like 2014, so we'll probably need some updating. Uh, and who knows how much diastology and central line placements changed in the last four years. It's not that things have changed. Well, maybe a little. New research has come out. We've learned a lot better ways to teach. And in some cases, yeah, there are new scans to be performed. Yeah, for example, there's been fresh new research in renal and lung ultrasound, and some of the advanced cardiac numbers have been updated. Not to mention all the new blocks that are out. The serratus, the raptor, the predator. The predator? That sounds pretty sweet. No, no, Dawson. I was just testing you. Would be a good name, though. All right, so some cool new stuff coming to ULA. Number one, ULA is offering Butterfly to the fellows. Number two, we're bringing on Jacob Avila, a five-minute sono and Ultron podcast to help us update the curriculum. But like everybody else, we don't have an infinite number of Butterfly machines. So if you're interested in starting up with ULA and want a Butterfly, make sure you tell us you heard this commercial and want the Butterfly. That'll help us save your spot in line. If you're not good enough at ultrasound, that's not an excuse to punish your patients with radiation. Get out there, ultrasound some hearts, some lungs, some IVCs, let us know how you feel about it. Yeah, we can definitely do that, or we could be better clinicians and use our ultrasound. <laughs>